Do you want to learn ways to improve your Age of Empires 4 gameplay? If so, this is definitely the video for you. Hey there guys, Farmman Official here, and welcome to this Age of Empires 4 video, which is all about Archer Micro. First of all, we're going to try and define what Micro is, talk through the principles of specifically Archer Micro, and then explore the types of Micro, which include Stop Micro, Focus Fire Micro, and my favourite, Attack Move Micro. And last of all, we're going to talk about which type of Micro to use in which scenario. Ok, so first of all, what is Micro? Micro is essentially managing single units or groups of units in a way that you can get the most utility, or in other words, benefit, out of them. So let's talk principles of Archer Micro. When you can shoot, make sure you shoot. Archers have a reload time, and so in battle, often you'll need to move your units in between those reload times, either retreating to stop enemy units from surrounding you, or advancing to stop your enemies escaping without taking any further damage from your unit. The second principle is efficiency. This comes in two ways. First of all, making sure that all your units are attacking rather than only some of them. And secondly, that when they do attack, there is the least amount of wasted shots as possible, also known as overkill. The third principle is that any type of micro you use needs to be practical and easy to actually do within a game, so that you reduce the chance of accidentally miss micro. Ok, so this is where we get into the meat of things. Let's talk about the types of micro. First of all, we're going to talk about Stop Micro. This type of micro is using the Stop Hotkey, which is defaulted to S. This halts your moving units so that they can attack. However, whilst this is of course better than no micro, as you'll be keeping your archers retreating, it's not without problems. You'll see in this example that using Stop Micro, it will only be your units that can see an enemy unit in their range that will fire. Your units that don't have an enemy in their range will not fire and they'll simply stand there which is not great in a big battle. This doesn't fulfill one of the principles of Archer Micro, where you want to make sure all your units are attacking rather than only some of them. In any case, let's talk through how to do Stop Micro. With your units selected, right click your units to walk in the direction that you want, and then when you want them to fire, press S on your keyboard. Once your units have fired, right click again in the direction that you want your units to move. Keep repeating this two step process as demonstrated in the video. The next type of micro I want to talk about is the Focus Fire Micro. This type of micro involves shooting a single enemy unit to thin out your opponent's numbers quickly, which can be useful to get a numbers advantage early. However, the main problem with Focus Fire is that you tend to overkill units. This means your army will shoot more arrows than would normally have been required to kill that one unit. Another way to look at it is all your units will fire at that one enemy unit when, for instance, Perhaps only half of your units firing would have been needed to actually kill it. That's half the potential damage from your army lost in that shot. Another problem is that it can sometimes be difficult to select a particular unit to shoot, and misclicking can cause you to lose out on potential damage. There is definitely a role for focus fire though, don't rule it out, because we're going to talk about it in the last section of the video, where we will discuss which micro to use and when. The third type of micro, and usually the best in most situations, is the attack move micro. This for me is also by far the easiest micro to do. It fulfills the principles of micro which we discussed earlier. The units shoot when they can shoot, and they move in the reload times. Units will also be more likely to move closer to an enemy target if they're not quite in range, reducing the wasted potential damage of your army. They will also fire at units which are closest to them which reduces overall overkill and the damage that your army takes. In most scenarios, this will lead to killing your opponent's army quicker. Another advantage is that it reduces the chances of misclicking, as you don't need to be precise with the clicking of your mouse. And just in case you missed it the first time round, pay attention to the archers at the back, which don't have the range to shoot the enemy. You can see that they continue to move forward to try and attack when using attack move. This just does not happen when using stop micro. So let's talk about how to attack move micro. So there are three steps to the attack move micro. After selecting your units, you right click in the direction that you want your units to run to. Then you press A on your keyboard, which is the default hotkey for the attack move. And then you left click in the direction where your army is moving in. This will instruct your units to attack. This ensures that you barely have to move your mouse position, unlike when you're doing focus fire micro. Lastly, right click again in the direction that you want your units to move in. And you repeat these steps. So again, right click, press A, left click, and then right click again. So the last thing I want to talk about is when to use the various different Archer Micro types. 
I don't particularly find myself using stop micro for archers, but if anyone does, please do let me know in the comment section of the video, because of course, I'm still learning the game as well. I would usually default to using the attack move micro, except in the following three circumstances where I would prefer to use the focus fire micro. First of all, if you're in a losing battle and you just want to kill as many single units from your opponent as possible, this is usually useful in scenarios, for example, if you're up against the French knights, because the French get the unique technology called chivalry, which enables their knights to heal themselves when they are idle, and so if you're likely to lose a fight, it's better to fully kill, for instance, two knights, rather than just reducing the HP of five knights that just go on to heal themselves later. Another similar scenario is when your opponent has units that heal their army. We can see here that my opponent, playing as the Delhi Sultanate, is using the Scholar to heal his units. It can sometimes be better to take these Scholars out in the fight, straight away by Focus Fire Micro. The Attack Move command can sometimes make your army attack whatever is closest to it, whether it be buildings or units. But of course, we want to attack units. In which case, there are scenarios where units might be behind buildings that you will want to Focus Fire on. So guys, I've really enjoyed walking you through Archer Micro, and I'm hoping you've learned a thing or two. Let me know if you found this video useful, and if you're now going to be paying more attention to Archer Micro. I really think it will help in Age of Empires 4 gameplay. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up as it really helps the channel, and consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell if you'd like to see more Age of Empires 4 content, ranging from build orders, beginner's guides, in-depth game mechanics analysis, and online competitive gameplay. Speaking of which, if you'd like to see build orders that I have on the channel, click the right-hand card screen now. For online competitive gameplay, click the left-hand card screen now. Take care guys, and have a great day.